Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kazia Taylor. So today I'm going to be doing a smoky look that was requested. And now I'm just putting some moisturizer on my face because you never want to do, well, I have dry skin, so I never wanted to do makeup on dry skin. I always want to be moisturized. I feel like that really makes me illuminated underneath. And I'm putting on a primer. This is the Black Radiance HD Primer. I'm trying to focus for you guys, but it wasn't focusing. So, but I'm going to put this on. It has SPF in it. So it's great for the summertime and springtime. When you're out in the sun, you're still going with the so you're still wearing foundation. So this is great to put under that. I'm scrubbing it all in. You want an even base. And now I'm going to rub out my eyebrows. Rub out this weird. I'm going to shape them out. And um, I have an eyebrow tutorial on my channel. So if you guys want to see this more in depth, you can click the link below and check that out. Now I'm going to use the Black Radiance HD Corrector and Concealer. So this is a corrector shade. You can also use it as a concealer. It is a corrector and you can use it as a concealer. And I'll put the shade that I'm using below. I really enjoyed this concealer. It was so lightweight and easy to use. It blended out it's so easy and I used it to carve out my eyebrows. I'm also going to use it later on on my complexion routine. But it was really nice. It was a really nice shade for me. I was kind of um, scared that I got the lightest shade. But I got early good shape and then like I said, I'll leave it below. She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust me to the dance. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a sand, 13 hours till I land. I mean, like a light, 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 like a light. Yeah, that's the dogs and Shelly sending text me, sending text. Yeah, he's saying. I'm just gonna blend out my eyebrows. I'm using actually an eyeshadow brush to do this. So yeah, um, any blooming brush really gets the job done. Like I said, I have a tutorial on this, so. I'm gonna take Black Radiance's foundation. I'll leave the shade below for y'all to check it out. This is actually the first liquid foundation I ever purchased and I completely love it. Black Radiance always came through for me in the drugstore for complexion products. They just always had me represented and I appreciated that. So this is the first foundation I ever purchased and look how good it's blending in. It's really lightweight too. I really don't feel like I have on a cake face when I'm wearing any Black Radiance products. I'm going back with that same concealer and I'm putting it everywhere that I'm going to um, highlight my face. I'm gonna take this contour palette by Black Radiance. This is like what everybody raves about when they speak of Black Radiance. I'm taking the darkest shade in the um, medium to dark palette and I'm really going in and it, it's really picking to y'all. So when you get this palette or you use this palette, if you don't know, now you know you need to tap really lightly. But I'm using it to contour and I think I'm gonna use um, this palette for eyeshadow, for highlight, for everything. So. Now I'm just waiting for my setting powder to set and I'm listening to Beyonce in the background and this is me thinking that I know the choreography. <laughs> oh, and this is me realizing I don't <laughs> and I'm leaving to Beyonce. <laughs> I'm taking the Black Radiant setting powder and the shade Cafe. And I'm using this powder to, now this is their pressed powder, and I'm using this pressed powder to dust away the setting powder that I have on. I was cooking on my skin for just a hot minute. So, it look how like, it just makes me look so flawless and like blurred, and I just love that powder. So I'm gonna use that concealer again for my eyelids, as a base, and I'm rubbing it in with my fingers. Like I said, I'm using this palette for eyeshadow too, so I'm gonna take the um, sculpting shade, and I'm gonna use that 
to other transition shade and I'm just gonna use that to put, on, put down the groundwork in the eye look. I'm gonna use the darkest shade, the contour shade, and I'm going to put that right under the sculpting shade, and this is just gonna give me a nice gradient. So I'm going from brown to a deeper brown to black. And you really want a nice gradient so it doesn't look like you just threw on some black and it looks um, muddy. You want it to look like a nice transition. So this is the start of the show for the look. I'm using their Cole eyeliner and I love this stuff. It's like a gel pot but like in a stick. And I don't, you guys know I don't wear eyeliner. So I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I can do a smoky eye with this. So I'm gonna put it all over my lid and I'm gonna use a smudge brush to go and smudge all of that out. And I really enjoyed using a smudge brush because it was easy to get the shape that I wanted for my eyelid. And I'm just using it to blend it all out. This eyeliner was so easy to blend out and I knew it would be so I knew that I was excited to use it for this look and I was looking at it and I was just like yeah it's not high enough for me so I actually went in and put in put on more so I just really um, suggest that you use as much as you want to shape out your eye so I knew I wanted mine a little higher up Here's me doing that. I think when I brought the product up some more, it just made it look a lot more dramatic. Yeah. Kind of almost like cutting your eye, but with black. So now I'm gonna use a really tight blending brush. It's not as fluffy as the brush I was using before with the first two colors. And I'm gonna use this because I really want this gel. Um, well, it's really eyeliner, but I'm thinking of it as a gel pot. I really want it to move and blend well. So I'm using a tighter but still fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to use that and just really go ham. Y'all yeah, know this is like the most important step when it comes to an eye look like this. You really don't want to be clocked. So you gotta make sure you're spending your time blending that eye out. You just keep going back over it where you see through. Now, um, you might want to put black eyeshadow over this, but I really like the shine that the eyeliner gave me. I thought the shine was cute, and I didn't want a complete matte eye, so I was fine with it. So I'm going to use the highlighter shade. I'm going to pop that in my inner tear duct as a little pop of color. So you want to brighten up your face because the eye is so dark. I'm using that concealer to sculpt the eye and really make it look sharp and precise. Like I'm stabbing someone, darling. I might have been wearing eyeliner, but it looks like I have that nice crisp look and I like that. So I'm going to use that highlighter shade again on my brow and I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. So now I'm going to give you guys two lip options. The first one, I'm going to line my lips with some brown lip liner and I'm going to use some lip gloss. So this is the SPF lip gloss from Black Radiance in the color Urban Nude. And I love that this is Urban Nude because you don't even have to wear a nude lipstick under it because the lip gloss is a little tinted. And you just gonna look so cute and pouty and it's protecting your lips with SPF. So we need that. Yes, country. Look at me slaying. Who is she? Okay, girl. <laughs> And then for the second lippy, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to use their red lipstick. So the shade would be below. I'm just going to pat it onto my lips. I don't really like the smudge look, so I like to just pat it. And this is how it looks with that. I really love this. It was very creamy. So if you're into creamy lipsticks and moisturizing lipsticks, this is the look for you. And that's the look, guys. Thank you so much. I got all these products from Impressions of Beauty. Thank you so much for sending these products to me. 